Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and, and the uh, theme of inspiration with respect to prayer and kavana, that special um, spiritual intent when you're doing something, when you're, uh, when you're praying, when you're doing a mitzvah. I want to relate a very brief snippet with respect to Perla, who was the wife of uh, uh, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdashev. It's Perla Panina, I'm not, I'm unsure, but this woman, may her memory be blessed. The story is told that um, the Rebetzin of Berdashev, whenever she needed and baked loaves for Shabbos, challah for Shabbos, she prayed, Rabboina Shaloyla, Master of the Universe, I beg you to help me that when my husband, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak, says the bracha on these loaves, says the Hamoitzi blessing on these loaves of challah for the Sabbath, may he have in his mind what I have in my mind this very hour, that I need them and bake them. Uh, to do something with that kavana, with that intent, when you're not just you know, putting together a bunch of like flour and, and, and water and kneading it and beating it and, and, and braiding it, and you're not going through the mechanics, but you're doing it with an intent. If someone, has v'sholem, is, God forbid, sick, and you're making a chicken soup, going to feel better, chicken soup, Jewish penicillin. What do you do? Do it with kavana. I am choosing this piece of chicken. I am uh, cutting up this onion. I am peeling and slicing these carrots or this celery. I am putting in this dill, all with the purpose of making the soup. I am doing these matzo balls for the purposes of the soup so that when this person, this ill person, eats, they should have a rufu shlema, a complete recovery. And may it be your will that through this soup and through my efforts, this person gets better. That's kavana. That is doing the simplest, most mundane things with the proper spiritual intent. Let us be like the Rebetzin of Berdyshev. And... Um, in the most simple and ordinary of tasks in our life, let us imbue it with holiness. Let us direct our thoughts and our prayers and our spirit toward making the smallest event filled with Kedusha, filled with holiness. We're going to be doing uh, many more stories about the Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev and um, I hope you enjoy them. I hope that you find them inspiring. This particular story the, about the challah, um, that got to me. I think it's because I like to cook. Um, but uh, I hope they're inspirational. I hope you're finding some sort of uh, guidance, motivation from these stories. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.